Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on September 24th, 2020. JP Morgan is going to settle billion dollar fine. JP Morgan Chasing Co. is set to pay nearly $1 billion to end U.S. investigations into market manipulation in metals, futures, and foreign exchange securities. The massive fine would remove the regulatory shadow that has hung over the bank for several years and herald a landmark victory for the government to crack down on trading practices such as spoofing, especially in the precious metals markets. The settlement with the leadership of the Justice Department, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission may take place as early as this week and is not expected to result in any restrictions of the bank's activities. J.P. Morgan said in public filings that it is in talks with authorities to complete the investigation. J.P. Morgan shares fell about 1.6 percent on Wednesday, less than those of other major banks. Playboy strive for a stock market after seven years off. Playboy Enterprises is approaching a stock-going deal by merging with Mountain Crest Acquisition Corp., which valued the owner of Playboy magazine along with debts at roughly $425 million. The Mountain Crest deal would see Playboy return to the stock market nine years after it went private in a $207 million deal led by its late founder Hugh Hafner and private equity firm Rizvit Reverse Management. Company is in talks with investors who will contribute nearly $1 million in private equity investment transfers to the deal. Mountain Crest, a special purpose purchasing company, may announce a deal with Playboy by the end of this month, warning that negotiations could still fall through. SPEC emerged in 2020 as an increasingly popular road to public markets compared to traditional IPOs. FRS said U.S. economy would need additional stimulus. The U.S. economy will need additional fiscal stimulus to avoid a volatile and prolonged recovery in economic activity, according to the leaders of the Federal Reserve System. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell reaffirmed his view at a regular congressional committee hearing on Wednesday that the increase in budget spending will allow the Fed to achieve faster targets in terms of employment and stable inflation. The Federal Open Market Committee, which held a regular meeting last week, said it considers inappropriate to keep the base interest rate in the O through O.25 percent range until conditions in the U.S. labor market match the Fed's notion of full employment and inflation will not reach 2 percent and will not seek to exceed 2 percent for a while. Most Fed leaders expect the base interest rate to remain in the current range O through 0.25 percent until the end of 2023 of the year. China State can buy a part of Brilliance car maker. Government investors are considering buying out BMW's main business partner in China, Brilliance. Brilliance China Automotive Holdings LTD is listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and has a current market value of $4.6 billion. The buyback will be carried out by the state-controlled Liaoning Provincial Transportation Investment Group, which already owns 12 percent of Brilliance. The process will attract other Chinese government investors and could begin as early as the fourth quarter of this year.